Hi guys, my name is John Sebastian Shaw. I'm named under the form under Shaw, and today I'm going to present to you the AdVoxel version 2.2. As there's no documentation, this is what I found out, so maybe it helps someone else. I'd like to let you know also that English is not my first language, and I hope everybody can understand me pretty well. Uh, so first thing I did, I imported the standalone AdVoxel package. Uh, this is what you get in your Unity. So what I'll just do right now, I'll just disable like the island and the object. I'll take out the third-person controller, uh, and then we're just left with the Terran that has the AdVoxel on it. Uh, what I do afterward, I'll just insert a cube in the world and we'll put our first person controller on it. Um, sorry, not import package. So cube, so just make a small platform. Because the AdVoxel takes a bit of a time to generate, so if you don't have a platform for your character to stand on, like the terrain will not be created in time and your character will fall to the ground. Uh, so this is just uh, for us like a small tricks, but actually what I want to show you is how to use the AdVoxel. Uh, just make sure if you use the AdVoxel, you go into the Terran, you need to drag your first person controller here in the missing player ob game object, and the thing, make sure to delete the main camera. Okay, so here's my character. You can see the Terran loading like under me right here. That was just the default uh, AdVoxel Terran being generated right now. So, uh, if we look into terrain, uh, we can have different presets or we can have it to manual. Manual can change the values here, it's going to change uh, how the terrain generates. But what I'm going to show you today is the biomes. So, if we do like one biome, not 10 but 1, you'll see the element here and surface and elements. So, we'll say we have just one surface and the name we can call it just uh, ground forest so I'll just show you what it looks like the material ID you go into the material here you can add some more material but if I want to have like the forest material generated I would put uh, the size element the name material ID here I'll put one and I'll put forest. Okay, so start point starting from zero to zero. Let's say we'll just build something out of uh, 250 by 250, starting at zero, and we'll just see what that looks like after. So since it's sand all the way around, we should have. Yes, yeah, so I was wondering why it wasn't working, so it wasn't working, but if you look at my platform, it's not at zero at all, so that's why I wasn't seeing. Uh, I'll put the value 30 here, and zero, and I'll do the same with my first person controller. Uh, zero, then 31, then zero. Uh, getting back to the controller, and then if I'll just put it a little bit higher. Okay, that's better. So you can see the forest here being generated from the first biome. So what I did, I put a max height of 1 and 250, so that's the chunk size. So if you look around, I'll put a little bit less. So that gives you a main idea how you can like generate different biomes so you can put like any size you want of biomes and as many surfaces as you want uh, uh, what I'll do um, and I think that's the best part about it is when we use elements so I'll just start with one and what I'll do is I'll there's a nice cactus package uh, back on the asset store that's free it's a bit cartoonish but it still works So as I was saying in 
Uh, the asset surge, there's a cactus free asset here. And it will work pretty good for what we want to do. So, if we go back into, uh, let's say we have the cactus back here, and we have the prefabs. So, that's a couple of cute prefabs. So, back here in the elements, what we can do is say, like, cactus1. And don't use any material. Starting point zero zero, and I would go as long as my... Um, I'll put it back to sun because it looks prettier, so back to zero. And my endpoint 250 by 250. Uh, max width is how large it can be. So uh, let's say we have 250 again. That's just how width is my area. And the main space is how much space you want to have between each objects. So I would say like uh, 25. So I should have about 10. Uh, in my area and the variance uh, if you go I think it's a value between 0 and 1 um, if we put 1 everything's gonna be the same as uh, 0 everything's gonna be the same size and up to 1 you'll have like smaller and bigger objects so I'll put like 0.8 so we'll have a small variance and open prefab we'll say we want just one prefab for now and I'll just drag in Cactus. So now, if I start the project again, I should have a, f a couple of cactus spawning, uh, always from zero zero. And in that vast vicinity, you can see them over there. So here's one cactus. Now what I can do, I could add more prefab. So let's say we have what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'll put them all in just for the fun of it. And here, three, four. Now okay, I might miss one, or oh no, I start from zero. Sorry. So, press that again. And I have one of that type here, and one of that type over there. We'll just throw this back with. Might have made an error here. Okay, right, guys, sorry. Um, here, I've changed the max width to a thousand, min space five and point eight. And if we look at that. Yeah, so you can see there's a lot of them being generated all over. So we have cactus and smaller one and bigger one. And you can see they're all generated all over the place. Remember that you can always like prefab, you can have uh, some cute stuff you want to make around like with a cup, like let's say you have an oasis and you put some palm trees, you can Make that as a prefab and then add it back to the list. And like I say, we can say two element and uh, put the rocks under here and do about the same five, uh, let's say eight and one. And for the prefabs, I'll say how many rocks we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six rocks. All right. Yeah, 
67, sure. So, let's put the rocks down here. And we can generate that. Gives you like a little terrain with generated stuff all over. Oh, we have small rocks here, cactus, and we can still add like as many elements as I was saying as you want. So, so I'll put another element and I'll cactus leaves and one, two, three, four four five of those and here I want them like closer together so I would say like the not three uh, let's put point two here and we will have five prefabs So, sometimes it takes some time to load, but... Oh here, so we have like a terrain. Uh, might look too small for those kind of stuff. But that's a general idea of how the Advoxel plugin works so far for the Atavis project you want to use. So, hope it helps. Bye.